Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 Davide et Impera battle for you today and we are indeed looking at some fine Legionnaires, the Legions of Crassus, as we are at reproducing the Battle of Carahe, or however you pronounce it, and there's def different ways people pronounce it, but we do have a huge Roman army here for you today, we have uh, lots of legionaries and, well, veteran legionaries and all sorts of uh, auxiliary units in here as well, and uh, they are... Slowly getting surrounded by some Parthian cavalry, so I think we've got all sorts of uh, various cataphracts here, which I am not going to even try and pronounce. We've got plenty of horse archers over here, which don't even have bows out. They have uh, lances out as well, so they look like they have melee ability as well. But yeah, I mean, there's lots of them, and we've got more cataphracts back here, or melee cavalry of some sort. Shock, yeah, and then I think it's the same on the other side. And there is also to believe to be infantry in here, but it does look like the uh, horse archers here are going to... Uh, Send up some volleys already, so we've got some, uh, yeah, Yance, yeah, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But they're already uh, sniping out the cavalry, which is a really good target to take out. Um, but they are also getting uh, fired back at by some uh, cohorts, Tungo Tungorum or something like that. These are like a Gallic uh, mercenary unit, uh, not mercenary, cohort unit. And that's very uh, historically accurate because the auxiliaries that were at uh, Karahir were indeed... Uh, Gallic units, they were very, you could say, almost out of their element being in the desert. Um, but they were indeed the units there. And we've got some dogs going in as well. We've got some, uh, well, yeah, some dogs. The Canes uh, Bellic Bellicsi? I don't know but how you say that. But it's basically dogs. And the cavalry's actually charged and it's caught this uh, cavalry. And here we go. I want to see the dogs try and catch this cavalry and see what damage they do. I don't think they'll do anything. They're probably just like, yeah, they're getting trampled instantly. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the cavalry, the first engagement. Um, looks like the Roman cavalry won this. I'd say they've routed this uh, horse archer unit pretty uh, substantially. They all they need to do now is send in this uh, the cataphracts here, and here we go. This is going to be a brutal charge. You can see there in the distance. Oh, the armor-clad cataphracts, and in goes the cavalry. A brave but foolish charge, lured out into the desert to die. And then they go. They will surely die now. And then this same with this uh, uh, unit on this side. It looks like the assault on the front has also been uh, successful. They've routed a lot of. Uh, other units are dogs, and it looks like uh, more archer units, and we've got some, uh, well, it looks like we've got more uh, missile units as well, and uh, cohort units going in as well, and getting killed, and cavalry as well, getting lured out. But, I mean, anything that gets close to the uh, infantry line seems to get pretty badly peppered up. What's this? Oh, this is a heavy missile cav. This would have been very useful in combating um, the, like, the Parthian force. I mean, you can see here with their, like, their, I don't know what shape shield you call that, but it's almost like a hexagonal shield. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see that. That looks very, very cool. And they're fighting off against some more uh, shock infantry, and uh, shock cavalry, sorry, and they are getting just blitzed. And we can see here, this is not looking very healthy for um, any of the cavalry that, like, comes close here. I mean, they didn't actually take any casualties there, somehow. But this veteran legionary unit here... Um, like, just threw an entire volley in there and just did not take any losses. They're trying to hit these missiles back here, I think. We can see they're already getting boxed in, like in history. Uh, the, the Romans just boxing themselves in, trying to withhold. And it looks like we're going to have a charge here. What's cavalry is this? Or oh, more um, missile cavalry just getting charged by cataphracts. But there's a lot of cataphracts dropping already, I'm seeing. And the Roman infantry is uh, trying to just hold these guys back. I mean, they're doing a good job, I'd say, with the sheer amount of, like, missiles coming in. It's, like, destroying this cataphract force. Look how brutal it looks already. I mean, the units, like, for DEI just look glorious. I need to play more and more of this uh, mod. It really is a glorious mod. Such a good-looking mod. And it just gives more uh, freshness to the uh, to the game. But it does actually look like the Romans are going to have a bit of success. They're going to route another um, horse arch unit. I don't know whether it will return quite possibly. But, I mean, they're using this heavy missile cav as just melee cav. I don't think it is. I thought it was just missile cav, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's just, like, full-on uh, melee. We can see here, look at this. There's box already. I'll just get rid of all the things. You can see this box already being formed. And, I mean, the Romans are actually making a dash for it, it looks like. Like, the front... About half a dozen units making a dash for it somewhere. I don't know where they're planning on going, but Legionnaires and uh, we've got Cohorts, Navorium, another Gallic uh, mercenary. Uh, not, I would keep calling them mercenaries, but they're not just auxiliary units. But I guess auxiliaries, in a way, are kind of mercenaries. They're almost just uh, they're giving their service for citizenship. I mean, they do get pay as well, but 
They're really wanting to do... They're serving for citizenship. They want to be a true Roman. Well, what else have we got here? We've got a... Uh, cohorts... Uh, Bat of a... a Batvian, basically. Batvian uh, cohorts as well here, so... Um, another Gallic one. But you can see another small, like, segment is broken off. I don't know where these guys are exactly going. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably all part of the... Um, sort of role play or something like that. But, um, I can't exactly remember the exact date for... Uh, Karahair. It's like... I want to say it's about, um, 40, uh, 53 BC, maybe, I want to say. Maybe a little bit earlier, a bit later than that. Um, but a massive uh, defeat for Rome. They basically lose, I think, about five or six legions. Uh, all the eagles are lost. Are then later returned um, to Rome uh, by the Parthians. I think Augustus gets them back. But it's a massive, massive defeat, and Crassus dies, who is one of the triumvirate, and that sets up like the civil war between um, Pompey and Caesar in a way, because there's not like that middleman who's able to like sort of mediate between the two or just balance the power out, and it's kind of separated two ways instead of uh, three ways, which would have been a lot better, I guess, for Rome in some ways. But um, yeah, this is a massive defeat. I'm pretty sure they like chop Crassus' head off and like fill it full of gold because he was such a rich man. One of the richest uh, men ever to live. I think still to this day is one of the richest men ever to live. His like wealth is just innumerable. It's like unknown like how much it was. It's a ridiculous amount. He was uh, like massively into his property and stuff like that. But we're going to quickly fast forward. Um, you can see like the new defense being made by the uh, Parthians here. They've got sword infantry and they've got uh, spears and they've got archers ready. And uh, yeah, this Roman like Little Roman cohort is uh, kind of ro running like a gauntlet almost. Or Roman sections ro running a gauntlet. It's, uh, I guess it's just begging to be hit by some cavalry here. I mean, I feel like the cavalry took a lot of hits from the Parthians here. Balance of power is now massively in favor of the uh, of the Parthians. I mean, that's no surprise. Um, they are kind of just boxed in here with the Romans, but it does look really, really epic. And here they come. I think they're just getting ready. The gauntlet is about to be... Uh, Run by the Romans. And uh, I don't think I can see many of these guys getting out of this. And here it comes. It's, I can see the cavalry moving already. Are they trying to just use them as like they fire automatically and then they just charge in? Which is not a bad idea to use them like that. But um, they're not really doing much harassing like they did in history. They did a lot of uh, cataphracts, harassment. Um, like harassing with horse archers and then like hammer and anvil with cataphracts. Or just the hammer with anvil. Uh, with cataphracts. There's no anvil. There's nothing holding them in place. Oh, they're forming square. That looks epic. But yeah, the cataphract's going in. I mean, the Romans did sort of form a shield there. And there's going to be another charge here. Where's it going in? Kind of like in between the two. They didn't really decide in the end. But yeah, the square's being formed. I mean, these uh, poor archers did not make it in time. Yeah, now if I was uh, the party player, I'd start shooting these guys. If they're going to form square. And shoot any that, and charge any that can't form square. It looks like these legionaries can't form square. Um, but... These cohorts can. And they're getting focused down for it. They just shoot the ones in the back. They're you like, don't shoot the guys in the front. Just shoot the ones in the back. And they're having to reorganize constantly. And yeah, I'm sure this uh, unit here is about to charge into the legionnaires. Oh no, they can form square. They're just taking their time and doing it. The second one's not going to form time in time though. And that's going to be pretty devastating. That is going to be pretty devastating. I mean, you could, we've got a massive banner in the way. But you can sort of see... Uh, well, that Roman unit, I'm sure, is, yeah, losing decisively. He's not looking so hot. I don't know about the other one. The other one's okay because it forms square in the end. But if I was uh, this cavalry here just charging to the back of the Romans here, you can rout these guys. Don't worry about these ones. Keep these ones just occupied with a few archers. And, yeah, I mean, you can see here the cohorts are going to desperately try and get up. But, I mean, they were waiting for that with the Parthians, and now they're going to strike into the flank. And, oh, no. Poor cohorts. They just wanted to get citizenship. And now they're going to die for it. They're all... They, their homeland in Gaul is a... Uh, a long, long way away. And there you go. The, uh, oh my gosh, that is an encirclement and a half. And these uh, Romans are not getting out of this. I mean, I don't think either is that, uh, that cavalryman here. He is pretty deep in enemy lines. How he is still alive. Just being stabbed away at by Romans. Horses, horse can just kick away at Romans. It works both ways. But yeah, both units losing decisively. And you can see here, this, uh, like, sort of outpost force is getting, uh, massacred. We'll put it like that. And now the Romans are uh, marching on themselves. They might need the infantry at Wapathia. They've still got a lot of uh, infantry to kill off. I don't know if they got the general, did they? I don't know. The general's still very safe. Equites, consulates. That'll be Crassus. He's uh, probably 
regretting coming to Parthia now. Uh, I know he probably wanted all the money and the wealth the Parthian Empire does have, but will it be worth it? Absolutely not, because it'll cost him his life and his legions if it carries on like it is. But, I mean, it's an absolute mess and it looks glorious, though. A glorious mess. There's the standard barrier. Keep him alive. Fight to the standard, men. Defend the standard. Oh, God. Oh. He's still alive. I'm trying to read what it says on his standard bearer, but uh, I'm not quite sure. It just says Legio. Legio something. I want to see if it has a number on there. Oh. Snatched him away. Maybe he's dead. No, he's not. He's still alive. This man does not die. Stop turning your banner, man. Um, but anyway, it looks like these uh, these outpost units are basically dead. These legionary units, I don't know how they're still alive, but I guess the discipline of the legions is uh, proving its worth here. They're going to try try and uh, withstand another charge. This is going to be in the flank. They're trying to reform quickly. Uh, and yeah, that's not going to be pleasant. And then the next one going into the rear of this unit. They hadn't reformed in time. Roman player clearly, clearly busy elsewhere. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, this cavalry's, uh, not looking so hot. They've lost, like, I mean, the cavalry's looking perfectly fine, sorry. The infantry's not looking great. And the cavalry's lost about 40 unit, uh, 40 men in each unit. They could do with some more fresh, uh, cavalry. But I don't think they've got any. They've got a lot of infantry. They've got the general cavalry. Um, but let's have a look at some of these other units that they've got, then, quickly. Oh, this is dying down. They've got some, uh, these look like very much like elite, immortal sort, like, archers. They look cool. Got some uh, more lighter ones here. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Got some interesting swords. With Javi capability of their own heavy melee. Uh, I think there's a couple of them. Yep. Yeah. All at the rear. And then what we've got here. Oh, another different, another sword unit. This kind of looks like Thorax to me. Which I guess they get from the influence of like the Seleucids. And then what we've got at the front here. Probably just like some... I'm sure these are like cheap spears. Are we doing that? Oh no, these are like... Heavy phalanx. Oh, this is a very cool, like a hot plate unit. This is very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about them. Don't know if Parthia really had any phalanx or units, but um, I don't know. I wouldn't have said so. But um, while we've been talking about that, or looking at them, the Romans are nearly dead in this first little wave, and the next lot's coming up. They're keeping their like sort of box formation. That's very satisfying to look at. I will not lie. They still got a little bit of cavalry. Um, Thirty-seven men. They've also got the. Uh, the general here, but I don't think they'll be committing him anytime soon. They've still got plenty of uh, like missiles. They've still got plenty of like archers. They've got a oh, they've got like a infantry unit here. This is like a a cohort unit. Oh, this is a very bloodied up unit though. It's like a armored archer unit almost. They do look very cool, even with the blood on. And the poor centurion looks like he's seen better days. Um, and then, yeah, I think they've got Bale Eryx as well. Yeah, there they are, Bale Eryx slingers. So, I mean, they've got enough, but I mean, wouldn't you try and get these boys just back to the front line? I know they've, uh, they're trying to push on for this final encampment, but give them mercy. At least get, let them get back to the camp. But, I mean, these legionnaires are just foolhardy. They do not care. For the glory of Rome, we must make it, make it there. They've not even lost half their strength, so I guess they could look at that that way. They've taken so many charges already from cavalry. They could take a couple more, but, I mean... It's actually a nice little defense here. They can break down these barricades there. They're not just, they're not aesthetically just there. You can break them down. Kind of just defeat the whole point of these uh, hot plates being a hot plate wall. But you can break them down. What else have we got? Um, I think we just got more of these swords. Yeah. There's not much variation in what they brought then it would seem. Oh, is that a different unit? Yeah, that is a different unit. That's again just kind of like a heavy phalanx unit apparently. Jeez, they brought a lot of those heavy phalanx. Here we go. So it looks like uh, archers coming in, maybe Javis as well. I think from the sword units, uh, a few legionnaires dying, but not too many. They're they're used to that sword losses. Two men, they can take that, but they're gonna actually retreat. They're actually retreating. I don't know if that's like part of like this little scenario that they're doing or what, or maybe they just thought, yeah, let's get these guys back. But they're not gonna get back now. The cavalry's coming, and that's them dead probably. Poor legionnaires. Could say that's probably an eagle loss because that was at least one sixth of their force that went out there and died. Yeah, that's probably an eagle is lost there. Legionnaires just getting trampled. Oh my gosh, they're just like breaking on impact. That uh, cohort unit at least did get there, but it's uh, gonna get 
charged in the rear. Oh god, and it's getting like shot up so badly. Look at the amount of like Javis in some of these guys, like shield. All they can hope is that there was some friendly fire in there. Which it probably was a little, but it's not going to make a difference. Um, they now look like they're harassing the main body already. That's brave. That is brave. I don't know how the Romans have such low uh, bounds of power. It's still... I'd still say they got a lot of elite units. I know they haven't got cavalry. I guess it's taking that into effect. And I presume DEI's on an update because it's now saying like percentage of morale and freshness. Which they never used to have before, I don't think. But um, yeah, that uh, cavalry's already broken. Yeah, like the general's not even hurt. I don't know how like this like morale can be that low. I guess it's just thinking maybe like mobility of cavalry, they just have the advantage. But if you throw enough javis at these guys, they'll die eventually. And the Romans have plenty of javis, and they've got plenty of slingers and stuff like that. You can see here, like in this fight, the Romans aren't going to win. These are veteran legionnaires. These are these guys have seen plenty of campaign. They shouldn't be losing this fight. I'm sure they aren't losing this fight. No, combat even. They've lost 20 men in the initial charge. But yeah, the cavalry's losing, which is good to see if you're room for the Romans. I don't know whether it's going to be historically accurate. Uh, the Romans might win this, I think. If they keep pushing like this and get to the uh, encampment, then they could certainly turn the defences on the uh, cavalry. I know it's not, like I said, it's not much of a defence. You can break these barricades. But um, they, they could... They could turn the defenses against the cavalry and then just defend this like area like par uh, the Parthians are. But yeah, hey, I mean look at this unit. It's Legionnaire unit. It's just like, they're just toying with them. With the Parthians. Oh jeez, another volley and just knocks the men back. And if they aren't going to get knocked back uh, by the archers, they're going to get knocked back by this cavalry that's about to come in. Brace men. Oh Jesus. Shame he's not around yet. The big Jesus. Um... He might have helped save them, but no. They have to pray to their other gods, to Jupiter and Mars and anyone else that will listen. Um, it looks like they're forming squares at the rear of the formation. Leg veteran legionnaires. These guys are almost going to get cut off. If, these ca if they can get cavalry in between here, the Parthians, they could cut off a few units here. More elite veteran, uh, like veteran legionnaires getting cut off. And um, Bale Eric's getting chopped up. I mean, that's what they're trying to go for, I think. They're trying to go for all the, uh, like the archers and like... The cavalry, which is really good by Parthia. If you can take those guys out, they can then just fire at will, which is what they should do, and then just harass when there's a gap that opens up. I mean, they've got some... There is a huge... Oh my gosh, the cohort's premium. This must be the first cohort. This is a 400-man cohort. That is a huge cohort. That is uh, definitely going to hold the front line for a long, long time. I'll tell you one thing. It looks glorious. A man with a lion on his head. And he's got an eagle there. There you go. There's the eagle. Uh, I mean, one of the eagles that they're going to have to lose at some point. But it does look glorious. And there, Oh, the cavalry's got in. It did sneak on through. There was a gap here. And they said in the uh, archers, I don't know if this is that's the Roman player, like, just helping the Parthians. I don't know. Or what? He's certainly helping the Parthians by seeing his uh, archers into combat. Pull them back. But the Parthians could definitely uh, do with sending more cavalry around this rear. They could uh, certainly cause some uh, problems. But they might want to start sending out their infantry. Their cavalry's looking really sparse. They lost a lot in that first assault, I personally thought. Like, back here. All the way back here. This was felt like a long time ago. Um, but yeah, they lost quite a bit just fighting here, I thought. And then they did quite well when the uh, Romans split off the splinter force. Looks like they're sending out more troops. The uh, Romans, the veterans, are going out. That's not very veteran of them. They'd know not to do this, you'd have thought. But I guess this is the first time I've experienced uh, Eastern Warfare for the Romans. They don't actually have this like issue before did the Romans. They always seem to uh well, not always, but they uh never really come against Parthia, we'll put it like that. The Parthians just I don't think they actually have had a combat with the Parthians until this point. They might have, but may have won quite decisively, I don't know. But I mean yeah, this four hundred man cohort is gonna do absolute work, you do imagine. God it looks glorious. For Rome and for, for the Republic, at this point, there's no Emperor, so we can't we can't say that. They're like, who? What? <laughs> it's no Emperor. It does look like, um... Well, Parthia's just waste, biding his time, really. 
I guess the Romans can just throw themselves against these walls and then the uh, Parthians can just send in their cavalry as and when they feel like it into the rear. The Romans are going to be only able to commit a certain amount of troops because they're going to have to keep a lot to defend the rear. I'd certainly, if I was Parthians, start focusing down these cohorts. Easy way to get inside their uh, enemy lines because this box is getting tighter and tighter. More cohorts here. There's a lot of cohorts still making up this side. This, certainly this flank. Uh, not so much on this flank. Actually... There's still two units on this side. There's about five units they could take out before they have to worry about this stuff. But look at that. That's, that unit just broke without even uh, seeing. I mean, it's got to show up a little bit, but it's breaking very easily. And now here comes the first cohort. The first cohort's going to try and punch a hole through this uh, this phalanx by the looks of it. And actually, they're going to fall back. I wonder if they're going to allow them in to flank this cohort, which is not, not a bad idea. No, they're going to just fall back a little bit, but not too much. And the volley's coming over the head. Picking off one or two men. And they're just going to hold their ground in the uh, open space here. I'd certainly start knocking down uh, defences if I was uh, the Romans. Just make other ways in. Make it harder for Parthia at least. Oh, and there's the Centurion. He's in the second line. Ready. Which I'm sure will become the front line very soon. And the archers are going to combat. I don't know if that's a misclick or what. But there's archers in combat. These are medium missile infantry. But I still want them in combat. Against cohorts. A very fresh cohort unit. These guys are getting. Uh, well stuck in. Oh the centurion's already dead. No who will lead this. Uh. The first cohort, oh my gosh, look at like the bodies down here. They're just like, already seeing like dozens and dozens of uh, Romans like crawling on the ground just looking for a way back and just like already, yeah, kneeling over, just like, no, I shouldn't have come with Crassus to the east. I should have said no to this fancy holiday and great pay, which I'm never going to see. But yeah, these cohorts are, yeah, they're dropping quickly. Jeez. I'm kind of surprised. You can see the rest of the Roman forces boxing up. They're sending out their archers really, really deep. I presume this is kind of just like to mimic what happened in history. Like, that these guys did just get like annihilated with the cavalry. Because you wouldn't do this normally. But they are going to break the uh, the infantry, the like range infantry unit. But this uh, cohort has already lost like 100 men. They're fi I'm finding it a really tough time to get through these infantry, and maybe this does make uh, explain why like the balance of powers changed so massively, because this infantry just is actually pretty hard hardy. It's like for the Romans, it's not going to be easy. Look at that guy! Oh, look at that! It didn't even look like he got hit by anything; he just fell over. You can see here, like, I mean, this, uh, they've only lost, like, nine men of this phalanx unit. They're just getting, like, the Romans can't get any closer to them. They need to fall back, throw some javies, possibly. But yeah, look at this, look at this. Ugh. So many brave legion, legionnaires, look at them begging for mercy. There's another one here. You might get up, no. Someone put him out of his misery. Jeez, he really did try and get up. And more are already dropping. As soon as they get in, they're just dropping. They're going to try and flank around. Not a bad idea. Just break these barricades down. I'm pretty sure they are breakable. And that's not a good sign. Losing decisively. And in go the uh, next infantry. They need to send some more infantry in. So you send in some... Uh, yeah, there you go. Some uh, Gallic allies. They're going to lose the eagle. I'm pretty sure, actually. I've not seen the eagle for a long time. I think it might be already fallen. The standard bearer might be gone. Where is the standard bearer? Oh, it's going to be a bad volley. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. Yeah, these units are... Uh, these Parthian boys are doing some good damage here. And they've got shields on their back. I didn't even realize. These guys, yeah, give me some elite archers. Yeah, they're just firing into that blob. And they're just... I don't think they can miss, to be honest. Um, the cavalry, again, just kind of waiting. It's just biding its time. Actually, it's going to... As I say, it's biding its time. It looks like it's getting ready for charge. It is going to be going after some cohorts. A weak chink in the armor. And there you go. You can see already the first charge is a pretty bad job. 
uh, messing up that line. Or bad, well, a bad job in doing well, I should really say, because that was a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of Batavians that went down. I mean, uh, the Legionnaires to the left also didn't look like they took a very, they took a pretty bad charge. And these vet, I mean, that one wasn't as good. They veered off at the last moment. But if they keep doing that, the cavalry, they'll be fine. But they need to keep some back, otherwise Rome can just throw this all at the infantry, which needs to be uh, aware of. And these Bale Erics are just getting absolutely focused down. Like, if I was the uh, infantry, uh, like the archers, I'd start focusing down these units. Um, if you're firing from this side, and fire on these ones this side. Just to give the uh, cavalry a better chance, because they'll really focus down. So they're already shooting at the general. They're already trying to focus them down. Not a bad idea. Break that morale. How's the uh, first cohort doing? 164. Yeah. Not looking good. But, I mean, looks like uh, these cohorts are getting some kills now. The Gauls in here doing their best. If anything, I feel for them. They've just newly been conquered. And they've been sent out to go and die. I don't even think, like... Yeah. Jeez, that is a brutal, like, volley. But it's not looking good. They've got another unit in here as well. It's really blobbing up. They need to be careful. Just the Roman player. More uh, more going up. More of uh, the same cohort unit. We've got like two Tungorums here. They do look excellent though. I do love like they've got so many like cohort units in here. Because that is what made up most of the Roman armies. There's a lot of cohorts of uh, like auxiliaries. But I mean, yeah, I would not want to charge in against this. If the elite, uh, um, I keep wanting to come the elite, vet, uh, like veterans, which they are, I guess they are elite and veterans. So I'm not got that wrong. But the uh, if the elite legionaries know anything better, they just watch a 400 man unit get decimated, and it's still getting decimated uh, by a unit exactly like this. And they're gonna, I mean, they're getting them pretty tight. They can use their uh, short swords, their gladius to great effect. You'd have thought. But they've got more swords getting ready here. I mean, the uh, cavalry could sneak in. It could sneak in and shoot, uh, either shoot these guys in the back, or it could charge into these guys in the back. But I mean, there's another infantry unit just outside out here. The cavalry might want to come and deal with this. This is a free unit to kill. I mean, they've got cavalry back here actually. It's uh, just chilling. The Romans. Just, if I was a a smart man now, you you guys should just run for the border. Run for the border and tell everyone what happened here. Because that um, this is not a good time for the Romans. They are getting slowly encircled, and it is very epic because it's so like what happened in history. By the infantry, there wasn't—I don't think there was at all any infantry at Carhe. There might have been like minimal, but not um, like this amount. There's almost several thousand here, and they're actually flanking around now with the uh, infantry. You can see they're actually getting stuck on the barricade. They are destroying it ever so slowly themselves. I mean, yeah, this unit's actually losing the spear unit here. This, the exact same unit that like did so well against uh, the first cohort. The elite veterans are finding an easy job. Maybe they should have filled the first cohort full of uh, veterans. I just, I'm pretty sure I just called them elite veterans again, didn't I? You know what I mean. Elite veterans, jeez. Oh. Yes, wave the banner, sir. Avenge your, like, brother who had a cool... Uh, like, lion one, lion banner, or well, well, lion, like, headdress, I guess you call it, but yeah, we're gonna have some clashes here of infantry having to go out, this is not good for the Romans, having to break formation just to come and face these, uh, Parthians in open combat, but, this probably does suit them, they do prefer to fight in open combat in the field, a bit like this, but, I keep saying but, um, however, the cavalry is now able to get in behind, and, uh, this is gonna hurt, Actually, the cavalry's going to go in for a charge on the front lines, but I mean, you probably want to charge into these uh, veteran legionnaires, do the damage here. And if we can, uh, if they can uh, cut down these Romans, it's another elite veteran uh, legionnaire unit. They could uh, do a lot of damage. There you go. I put the whole thing in: elite veteran and legionnaire. I mean, I think they actually are. They're winning. They are winning that fight. Um, no surprise that it's very heavy versus heavy. 
Um, the Romans have the advantage. I mean, the archers, they really need to start doing their work. I get the cavalry and do some charges there. Um, you can charge these Batvians if you wanted to. Balance power is still knocking good for the Romans. The Romans are sneaking in, though. These uh, auxiliaries are just bypassing almost the uh, front line. That's almost, that is definitely a pull-through there. Not that that's the end of the world, though, for the Parthians. They can then just kind of trap these guys inside. And they've got plenty of reserves. I mean, all their archers are pretty good in combat by the looks of it. Maybe apart from that unit there. Um, but yeah, most of their archers are pretty good in combat. And they've got cavalry, obviously. That's just uh, ready in the wings, waiting to do uh, some damage. How is the first cohort? I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's still in there. Jeez. 115. The uh, losses are starting to not be as dramatic as they once were. I mean, they went from like 300 and something to, uh, well, 400 and something, or 400 to like 100 and something in no time. We got there eventually with my numbers. It certainly helps that they've now got auxiliary to take the, uh, take most of the pain. But you can see they pushed them back. Of the uh, the Romans have been pushed massively back. All the bodies down there are mostly Romans and. I mean, Crassus has now come up. He's, uh, I don't know, just trying to give morale bonuses or what? Does like this Roman unit here, though, is uh, going to break the swords of uh, Parthia, but they're also going to die themselves. They are losing. So, I mean, it's kind of a trade, but at this point, they can't trade unit for unit. They need to uh, get a couple of units out with one sword infantry unit, which they could do if they can avoid the arrows. But I don't know how many arrows uh, like any of these guys have left. Can I tell from here? Probably you can actually with ammunition. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Usually it says. But I mean, just saying 15 still. Unless they have just fired no ammo. But that's not been the case, certainly. They've been shooting at those legionnaires back there the entire time. I mean, the legionnaires here have pushed in quite well. They've uh, pushed back past the barricade. They can actually try and destroy more of it now. The spears here start to waver. They've held for so long. Another unit going uh, ready. They probably want to push that one up. I mean, the Romans are just desperately pushing through this. So they don't have to get, like, succumb to the fate of the cavalry that's uh, waiting for them in behind. They all want to be in the front lines at this point. That's kind of weird, to be fair, actually, to think about that. You actually want to be in the front lines to face the cavalry, uh, and then rather face the cavalry. Surely you'd rather be in the back lines, usually, but no, not in this case. Imagine being these guys in the rear as another cavalry charge comes in. Just waiting for the, like, the crush of the cavalry. Oh, my gosh, that one's a nasty. That was a nasty one. I mean, they should cut down a few of these cavalry every time they retreat, which is the only positive there is out of this. There's another charge here. These, uh, I think this is Batavians here, isn't it? Yeah, this is certainly a weak spot. I mean, they lost about 30 men doing this. But they need to get the archers to start focusing these guys down in the rear. Break these Romans. I mean, they might just keep these guys in combat now and just squash them in. Um, they're forming a box here of the legions. They're not going to actually move forward anymore. They're quite happy with the ground they've taken. They do kind of need to rely on this other side to start pushing. But there you go, cavalry starting to pull back. Uh... Losing some. Might want to send some of this infantry in and just pressure these guys. Support the cavalry. And then infantry uh, push. And there you go. Finally, because the archers are uh, shooting to the back lines. And it looks like these uh, legionnaires back here are going to get the uh, the pain. And there he goes. Another one down. A big win there for the every horseman that dies for the Romans right now is a bit of a win. Just one less that they need to worry about in the next charge that comes. But yeah, I mean, these cavalry probably need to pull back now. They've been in here a long time. I mean, the arrows are still an issue for them. They haven't dealt with how they're going to deal with them. And here comes some infantry. That's getting ready. Are they going to throw javis? They may do. These guys look like they have javi capability. I'd get point blank range and throw them at these uh, Romans. They might just do that. No, they're going to go into combat. Or just sneak on by. What are they doing? 
They really, truly are going to just like get really, really close. I mean, these actually aren't. Fa these are phalanx infantry, but they look like they have they're holding their spears. That they have a uh, javi capability because they keep holding it with the spearhead down. But yeah, the cavalry now is very, very sparse. There's probably not much of it left. Balance power still not still not looking good for the Romans apparently. Still haven't lost their general. If they lose their general, that they might be in a real state. But they haven't lost their general, so I can't see how in this world they're uh, feeling like they, they're they going to lose this, the Romans. Because yet, like, yeah, the yellow is for Rome. The red is in favor of uh, Parthia. Unless they've mixed them up or whatever in DEI, I have no idea. Wouldn't have thought so. But unless, yeah, they can, I mean, uh, I guess if they can't deal with the archers, they'll lose. Archers and the cavalry. I mean, the they need to keep some cavalry alive to the Parthians just to make sure that they uh, they do maintain like a threat into the rear. Otherwise, the Romans can just push everything and look forward. I mean, the general's also a cavalry unit, so he could be brought out to start threatening. Or you could bring more of these infantry out. I mean, yeah, it's not looking good. The Romans are... Uh, I mean, I can see a lot more Cohors uh, units than I can Legionnaires, I'd say, now in this rear line. I mean, quite a lot of battered le uh, Legionnaire units at this point as well. There's a lot of them. This cavalry needs to be careful. Needs to be careful. Can't just throw it away. This veteran legionnaire unit here is losing. And that could be a way into this uh, formation. If they can get inside the formation, then that is uh, curtains for the Romans as well. I mean, the, look at this. The arrows is coming down. This Batavian unit here, I think, is still the way in. as well. Another way in. 87 men. You could break this and get inside this and just ping pong off stuff. And you cause havoc then. If you cause havoc with one unit breaking and get the cavalry inside, and all the other units have to turn. So that's when you let the cavalry just go in, charge, and then that, that's it. That, that's the Romans gone. This Batavian unit, 84 men. It's going to lose a lot more here in a moment, you'd think. Lost about another three or four, not many. You do think over time that's going to happen, but the Romans won here again. The Romans did win here. They're into the second layer of defense. They're not going to flank in and help their uh, other flank out. They're just going to carry on up. Now they meet with archers, which have big old shield. They always look like just legionnaires themselves. I mean, they're going to let the uh, their own troops go pass through first, and then here comes the legions, or what's left of them. But I would certainly start setting up more troops. I don't think holding the shield wall is a great idea now. I think, I mean, they're really, okay, they are in. I told you, the Batavian unit, I mean, it's actually gone in to help against the cavalry here, but there is now a gap in here. The Batavian uh, unit is where it is uh, weak. I mean, this phalanx unit's uh, pretty beaten up. It's got to keep an eye on it. But this, all of this here, the Parthia needs to start going that way. And there you go, the general is now, uh, Crassus has now been mobilized. He's now been mobilized. He's now going to have to be in combat, and this is a risk. Now it's time to focus him down. Focus him down with every arrow you've got. They actually are just going to form square with everything they have. It. Look at this Legion Air unit. That is kind of scary. It's a very small unit. Very. S I just love what they do with their pillum as well. I'm not. I didn't even realize that. That is awesome. That is very cool. Um, but, I mean, it does look like Parthia has been stopped in his path here a little bit. 90% strength. I still don't get what this is about, but I guess it's kind of cool to have there. But they kind of just form square. They're just standing off now, the Romans. I mean, they are attacking in some areas of the Parthians, but the Romans are doing most of the standing off. Apart from up here. They're being very aggressive here. They're actually winning as well. Jeez. Parthia just needs to send this unit of swords and flank them and That'll be, that'll be curtains. And then this arch unit here is always a threat to the legionnaires still. The general's in combat. He's now losing. If they had any uh, any cavalry, that'll be useful as well right now. Or just get this uh, infantry unit in behind. 
and uh, surround the general. But it looks like they're going to go into combat here. If they make it, they are wavering. They're that scared of these uh, legionnaire veterans. Like, oh no. Wouldn't want to face them. Would not want to face them. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Just because, uh, well, just for the sake of the video. But, I mean, it looks like uh, Rome is probably going to lose this. Especially if he doesn't go in to help his general. Crassus could do with some help. But, I mean, right now it has got to that sort of stage where if they move one thing, they leave, make another gap, another hole in the uh, already faltering line. They might need to just fall back uh, all their units that are like in these breaches. Could probably put one of these uh, cohorts in there. Could certainly... Uh, fall back one of these units to defend this choke point here. I mean, this is a choke point here as well now. Which hasn't even been, like, abused. There you go. The veteran legionnaires are break breaking. Uh, General, still alive. Just gotta keep an eye on him. Here he goes. Battling on. Crassus in his... I don't know which one looks like Crassus... Uh, would be Crassus. Or the General. Which we then would call Crassus. They all look equally as noble, equally as Hellenic. But he's wavering. 39 men and dropping. And he is wavering. And you do imagine then it'll be a chain route. Oh, this cavalry probably wants to come back. Oh, this is a medium missile infantry unit. What is this doing over here? Bring them back. And I think that is the enemy general dead. Enemy general, I just, yeah, saw a ping or whatever. Yeah, I think the enemy general is gone or he's, uh, I don't know, route. We certainly routed. Whether he's dead, I do not know. But uh, you start to see a chain route now by the Romans. I don't. If you're not in square formation, I think at this point, there's a good chance you may break. These legionnaires are. Uh, yeah, you can see here this unit here, 77, is starting to waver, just because it's not in square formation. I think now. How these guys still have jabbies? I throw them. Just throw your jabbies. If you still have jabbies, throw them. He's, yeah, I don't know what the uh, parting play is doing. He's kind of just being cautious now. Just take out these units like here in the back. Don't engage these guys. And certainly bring back your uh, infantry unit over there. You need every man you can get. It's going to be close. It's going to be a lot closer than it was in history. don't think the Parthians took this many losses. They lost a fair few men, but not this many. Most of them were uh, obviously the cavalry. But I think in history, I mean, a lot of men, about 10,000 of the 30,000 men that uh, left, I presume it's Syria, um, only about 10,000 of them returned, I think, or might have been even less than that. Um, the rest either died or were captured, and you presume they made slaves or executed whatever fate they uh, met. But um, they did retreat, they did surrender. Those that couldn't uh, get back sur surrendered and die. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm with taken prisoner. I think like on the third day of fighting or the second day of fighting they surrendered and you can see here, I mean how did this happen? How did they get a phalanx unit in, in, inside the square? That's that's kind of what the whole point of the square is. You're not supposed to let anyone inside. You've not done your job properly here, Batavians. It's because of you that we've, they're losing this battle. But no, I do like the Batavian unit. I mean it just uh, remind me a bit of like the Brutii faction from Rome 1. With their green shields. I mean, like, look at these guys here with their bigger, longer s spears. Not really a javelin at all, that is. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, it looks like the Romans are just about to basically finish here. I mean, I don't know what this Roman unit here is doing. This one's just kind of chilling. I don't know what happened, really. It's just a bit of a general rout. They are just kind of holding their ground. And we're going to fast forward as, uh, well, it looks like the Batavians are slowly, look at this, reforming their square. It's getting smaller and smaller, less and less. How can these three men be afforded to hold in the center? They need to be sent to wherever is available. And there we go, a close defeat for Rome. Looks like uh, everything just mass routed at the end there. And looks like the uh, replay was uh, slightly corrupted or something like that because, uh, well, I think it was that's because Davide Impera has had an, um, an update. And that was kind of from the old update. But if you enjoyed that, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. If you'd like to see more um, Davide Impera 
content, then let me know in the comments. I do enjoy playing it, and it is an excellent mod, and uh, really beefs it out. So yes, guys, I will see you in the next one.